I hope that one day soon I'll be able to build a nice big barn for my therapy work and to get the idea across to the planners and any potential backers. I thought I'd make a scale model. This is the field where the barn would go. And this is the model. To go with the season, I made it out of gingerbread. It worked so well that I thought I'd share the recipe with you. I started off by making two different doughs. For the first one, I warmed some golden syrup and added rye flour to it to make a thick gooey paste. For the second dough, I mixed soft brown sugar with eggs and then I added white wheat flour, gingerbread spices and baking soda and some rum for extra taste. That's not essential though, you can leave it out if you like. I then mixed the two doughs together and let it all rest for a day. The longer the better really with this sort of dough. The following day I kneaded the dough thoroughly and then divided it into two lumps, one twice as big as the other one. I rolled out the bigger lump first on a sprinkling of flour to stop it from sticking to the tabletop. If you're thinking of making your model dream barn or house or garden shed, you might want to use different measurements. I cut out two rectangles with the dimensions 24 by 16 centimeters for the roofs and a triangle with the base of 20 centimeters and sides of 16 centimeters for the back wall. I chose that size because I wanted to make sure all the parts fit on the baking tray and I also wanted dough left to make some barn inhabitants. I made some horses, obviously, and some sheep and pigs and ducks and chicks and a dog and some rabbits. Unfortunately, I don't have a donkey cookie cutter or a geese shaped one. The dough gets baked in the oven at 175 Celsius or 150 if you use a fan oven. Baking time about 25 minutes. When all parts were cool, I made up the icing to stick everything together. One egg white whipped really stiffly, mixed with 250 grams of icing sugar. The icing should be really sticky and stiff. A first test assembly. Hmm, it seems two corners of the roof sides shrunk a bit in the oven, so we might have to deal with a bit of a leak in the roof. Experience has taught me to put the decorations on the roof first, let it all dry and then assemble. If the decorations go on the slanted roof, they might decide to slide downwards while the icing is still runny. I tell you, I've been there. This is the most fun bit for me. For decorations you can use any sweets you like or homemade cookies. I use a bit of everything to make it colourful and interesting. I also decorate the farm animals. I fill the icing in a small freezer bag and cut the corner off so I can draw on the cookies. When the sweets are firmly stuck to the roofs and back wall, it is time to assemble my barn. Big moment! 
I see why in real life they have teams of carpenters doing a job like this. It's more tricky than it looks. Luckily I have some decorations left. The gap in the roof is gone in no time. No one will ever know. I fill all the corners with more sweets, just like putting shingles on a barn, isn't it? You don't want any draught to get through the gaps. Then the animals can move in. And some final touches, snowflakes and icicles. Look what I made, Tim. A scale model of the new barn that's going to go into this field. What do you think? I'm very impressed. It's actually extremely detailed. It is. Even the model it seems to be up to uh, Irish building standards. And all the animals fit in it and into the yard in front of it and it can even cope with some snow as you can see from the model. I don't know whether it can cope with rain though, but we'll find out. So uh, you just want to make exactly the same thing but quite a lot bigger? Exactly the same but um, yeah I suppose about 100 feet long and um, whatever it is. Uh, uh, 60 feet wide. Yeah, so we just need to get a lot of Smarties. The real plan is to have somewhere dry for the children who come here to work with the horses. Obviously the final full-size barn can't be made of gingerbread and we'll need serious money to make it happen. But we can dream, can't we? What do you think? Will the planners like it? Would you back a project like this?